Hello everybody, how is everybody doing today? My name is Claudia and this is Katie Counseling. Welcome back to my channel. So, I shot this video already one time, but it was in the afternoon and the lighting was not good and I felt like I was rambling a lot. So I think a better time for me to make these videos is in the morning. So I'm here um, making the video again. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is the first day of my new semester and I'm super excited about it. But that had me thinking the other day how to prepare for this next semester and my tips for you guys like from a student to a student what to do and what not to do okay and just little things that I came across and um, I wanted to share with you guys so before we begin you can catch me over at Instagram at Katie counseling um, DM me there if you have any questions okay guys all right so let's get started let me do this one more time all right, the first thing I wrote down, and I have it, I have my iPad here, so I don't have to forget. Um, it says, try not to procrastinate. And what I mean by that is, don't wait till the last minute to read the um, assignment description. So my technique for being prepared, not feeling overwhelmed, and not procrastinating is like, let's say perfect example today, right? I woke up and I saw that my two classes for this semester, because again, one class is the whole semester and the other class is half of the semester and then I start a new class the other half of the semester. So I have two new classes today and <clears throat> what I do, at least for the week ahead, I click on the module and I go over the assignments. And while I'm in the assignment, I look at the assignment description and the reason I do that is because it can prepare me to set aside a proper amount of time okay so like this week the only assignment I have for one of the classes is the student introduction meaning I know that I can gauge my time a certain way so I know student introductions that's not gonna take a long time but still I would like to go over the assignments and um, another thing to consider is the rubric so let's say um, I do have a discussion board due this week so let's say I'm gonna look at the discussion board um, assignment description like what the teacher wants from us what the questions are and the format and then I go down I scroll down and all of our assignments at least for us in canvas on the bottom it has the rubric and there are some teachers that really go by the rubric. There'll be like 10 things that you have to meet, you know, APA standards. It has to be a certain length. You have to have a certain amount of uh, citations. Sometimes the citations will have to be in from the past three years. So you have to um, make sure you're looking at the rubric, not just the directions. Because there's been times where I will read or, you know, read the directions for an assignment and I'm like, yeah, I get this. It's fine. It's easy. And then, you know, I'll get points marked off because I didn't read the rubric. And in the rubric, the teacher really explains exactly how they want the assignment done. So make sure you're up to date with that. And that will really help you determine how much time you really need per assignment. So again, like if it's a student introduction, you can go in there and knock it out in 10 minutes. But if it's a paper, again, maybe you have to work on it each day for a few hours. Yeah, the second thing um, that I've kind of came across in the past year is choosing to make certain things late. And I say that because life happens to all of us and as much as you don't want to procrastinate, as much as, you know, you don't want your items to be late, there are times that even if you plan out your assignments and you think it's going to take a certain amount of time, um, you know, it might take longer and or you think you'll have that day to work on something and, you know, you get called into work or you have to deal with life circumstances and you don't get it done. So I've had to learn how to be okay with understanding the late policy for assignments and sometimes turning them in late. Um, for myself, I work a lot, right? So, and I work at night. 
So there's times where I'm like, oh, I'll finish it, I'll do it. And then I don't do it during the day because I'm, you know, cleaning, cooking, going to Target, doing whatever. And then when I come home from work where I feel like I'm going to be able to do this assignment, I don't do it. I, I'm just like, nope, I can't, I can't concentrate. But I know that I can wake up the next morning and let's say it's the assignment is late or something like that. I know I'm going to give it my all. So I would rather have the time to do the assignment properly so I can learn the uh, material properly and respond properly rather than do it just because it's due and not do a good job anyway and probably get marked points off anyway. So that's the kind of balance that you have to learn how to, you know, whatever you are comfortable with, make sure you think about that before that day comes because there are some people that do not want anything to be late. They want to have 100% on everything. So if you're that kind of person, make sure maybe start your assignments really early so that never happens to you. But yeah, I've had some stuff turn in late, I mean, by like a day. And most of the time, the teacher's not really, you know, going to mark you off so much. Or sometimes they don't do it at all because they know we all have lives. But then there are teachers that are really strict and they go by their rules. So you guys have to weigh out that um, when, when you're doing these assignments. All right, the next thing I wrote here is if you're sick and you have a doctor's note, or if you're sick and you don't have a doctor's note or something's really going on in your life, reach out to your teacher. They want to know. They're not mind readers. If you do have that doctor's note, send it over. They'll extend the dates of your assignments. You know, um, I feel like at times we feel like at least, I don't know, what I'm doing in my life where I live, there's this hustle culture where you can't, can't even take a sick day, right? Um, but I truly believe if we are healthy and, you know, we take care of ourselves, we can do better in school, in life, at work. So when you're sick, take care of yourself and let the teacher know that you're sick and they'll give you time. So you can focus on getting better and getting your health in order rather than stressing over assignments that are due while you're sick. Um, I've done homework and assignments and tests while I've been home sick and not going to work, but most of the time if I really feel ill, I prefer to work on things once I feel better because again, it's not going to be my best work. So keep that in mind. Don't feel like you can't reach out to your teachers. They are people too. <laughs> they went to grad school, probably have a doctoral degree. Like they understand life happens. So if you're not feeling well, take time to rest. There's going to be other days where you can do work, but you got to take care of yourself first. Okay. So the last thing that I wrote down here is create a group chat or a cohort with um, the people that are in your program. So I wrote cohort because I have a group of people that um, have exactly the same classes as I do and we um, met in person in residency but also we see each other every week in discussion boards and in Zoom classes. And ever since I connected with my cohort and some other people in the program, I feel more connected. Um, to my school, to my program, and I feel supported. And I didn't think I would feel this supported, but I really do because everybody has questions. And um, that's why I started this YouTube channel because there was not a lot of information for students about clinical mental health counseling. So I just wanted to come on here and share my experience with you guys because I know I had a million and one questions and I wanted them answered and I would get like little piece here little piece there you know answered um so yeah it's really good to have a few people that are you know in the same journey if possible if not again we're here on instagram and on youtube or here to help you and to connect with you so yeah i think that if it's possible create that connection okay so yeah today's the first day of my classes, I made a video on the classes um, that start today, but I'm really excited because, here, hold on, it's loading, 
Um, the class is Legal Ethics and Professional Standards and Research and Program Evaluation. So I will do a video in a week or two kind of um, telling you guys how the classes are going. But until then, go over at KD Counseling over on Instagram. Follow me there. You guys have a good day. Happy Monday. Bye-bye. <laughs>